Hey, what's up team? Eddie Gray here, back at it again. And today we're talking about the catch function inside of Logic. Wouldn't it be great if while the playhead, and when I refer to the playhead, I'm referring to this thing right here that I'm currently moving, the playhead. Wouldn't it be great if every single time it played outside of the bounds of the screen, in other words, from bar one to bar two, once it goes past bar two, wouldn't it be great if the screen updated, if it showed me then bar two to bar three and then bar three to four. And so check it out. Right now I'm gonna press play and by default, what's gonna happen is that we're still gonna look at the same content. If I zoom out, you can see that the playhead is still moving, but because of my zoom level, I am not getting updated on the current screen set and the information that is within that set. And so right up here, there's a little button. It's called catch. And if I go ahead and click that, you're going to see that all of a sudden the screen is going to update every single time that the playhead reaches its new destination. Now, of course, this is all dependent on your zoom level. For example, if I'm all the way out here, then that's going to be a little bit different than if I'm zoomed in, you know, really tight like this. And so the playhead's gonna have to keep updating. And so the important thing here is to note that you can change the behavior of catch. If I hit control click, here is the behavior that you can set. You can say, hey, I would like for you to catch when I start the playback every time. And then you can also say when I move the actual playhead. And so that makes sense, right? So for the first one, every single time, that you start the playback, that is also going to start, right? Unless you go ahead and turn it off or you have the key command, which I will teach you how to do in a second here. The second one, catch when moving playhead, is going to allow you to turn that on as soon as you start moving the actual playhead. Okay, to set this up, pretty basic. Go into the key command window. Where can you find that? Under key commands, edit, here's the key command window. Up here on the top right in the search menu, type in catch, click on that, hit learn by key label, and then type in the appropriate key command. You can also go to the bottom if you have a MIDI controller and you can hit learn new assignment and you can hit any MIDI note on and off message. All right, so that is that. I do want to point out one thing really quickly. There is a reason to actually not utilize it. For example, let's say I'm really trying to focus in on a region and I really want to get a, a nice fade and it's not happening automatically. Well, then in that case, I'm going to turn off the catch function and I'm going to press play and then I'll keep working on the part until I get it just the way I want to see but this is an advantage that the screen is not updating so this is working in my favor the goal is and has always been to find the appropriate workflow that works for you everybody works on different genres everybody has a different rate of speed at which they work and so it's very important that you find your voice that you find your lane and you find your way of doing this, of interpreting music in today's age. So hey guys, thank you very much for watching. If you're liking the content, go ahead and smash the share and subscribe button. You guys are the lifeblood. This is why we do this. So we really appreciate you guys. If you wanna learn more about what we are up to, go ahead and check us out. Okay, this is Eddie Gray signing off. Blessings to you. We will see you soon.